Hello and welcome. In this short tutorial video, let's set up the famous TIG stack. My name is Suyash Joshi. I work as a developer advocate at Influx Data. And in this tutorial, we will collect data using Telegraph, store it in InfluxDB, and visualize using Grafana dashboard, all using Docker containers. So let's dive right in. So we're looking at the GitHub repository. You can search for it if you search modern TIG stack for InfluxDB3. I've also linked this in the description. This repository, the readme includes all the steps. And uh, it has different files. So there is the important Docker Compose YAML file, which basically describes the various Docker services that we're going to run, InfluxDB3, Telegraph, and Grafana. And a lot of these need information. So some of that information is coming from environment variables, uh, especially the token, etc. And I'll walk through all of that, but just wanted to show you, this is what the environment variable file looks like. You want to put the token string here. We will create that in a second, and then you want to put it here. And this is where it will be read from. It also has a folder for Telegraph, which includes the Telegraph config file. And what that does is just collects metrics from whatever machine that's running on. It's going to gather metrics from the CPU, RAM, disk, network, IO, etc. And it will write that to InfluxDB3 bucket or database. And again, it relies on the token, etc. Because we need the token to do any kind of operation on the database. So with that said, the first step is to make sure you have the prerequisites. So you should have Docker on your machine. I have Docker running right here and make sure Docker is up and running. And then next thing is let's clone this repository. So I have my IDE open and I will just clone this right here. And then once I've cloned it, I can CD into it. And then I will open the Visual Studio Code project. So I can look at it right here much easier. So this is the same readme file that we were looking on GitHub. Now I have it locally on my machine and I'm going to open a terminal window. And now I can just follow steps from here much easier. So first step is now that we want to start up InfluxDB3 core using Docker compose command. So I'm going to paste that one like that. What it does, it, it is going to run a script that will download the latest version of InfluxDB3 and it will run the installation. And uh, now once it's installed, I want to create a token and to do that, I'm going to now rely on InfluxDB3 CLI. And uh, the service is up and running. So I'm going to use that service, rely on the CLI to create the admin token. And to do that, I'm going to paste this command right here. So we have to type in InfluxDB3, create token dash dash admin, because it's the admin token we're creating. And it executes and it gives us the token, which is this string right here. Now it's very important, don't lose this. So that's why I've created the .env file. You want to store this here securely because if you lose it, you cannot get it back. Uh, so don't lose it. Save it somewhere securely. So now we have secured this here in our local file .env, and rest everything is default. You can change these settings if you like, but these are just the default settings. And also the bucket name or the database name. I've given it local system, but you can define whatever bucket or etc. you wish. By default, InfluxDB3 runs on port 8181. Grafana will run on port 3000. And so now we have provided the token. We have done the step, pasted it in the env file. Now we can spin up the other services. So first, let's start Telegraph. And by typing, it's going to download the Telegraph image, install it, and start that up. Like you saw, it happens really quickly. And uh, just like that, it should be up and running. In the meantime, I'm going to copy the command for Grafana. And I can open another terminal window to do it there. So. I'll just open another terminal window because they can uh, Grafana can be set up into, uh, by itself. And I can go back and check. So what is happening here? It's it has started now. It has done a metrics check on InfluxDB. Make sure everything is set up correctly because Telegraph, what it's going to do is going to run the Telegraph configuration and this plugin essentially, which is going to start collecting all these metrics and start writing to InfluxDB3. And here uh, I downloaded Grafana and I've started Grafana locally on my machine as well. So now. We are almost done. Now what we want to do is we just want to see the logs just to verify everything is working correctly. First, let's just look at the Telegraph logs. Here, everything is looking good. This is just telling us Telegraph started up, it's starting to collect data, and it's writing. Similarly, we can look at the logs for InfluxDB3, which is also running. And that is looking good, no errors. It's uh, reporting various operations that are happening as data is being written. And now I'm going to run a command. Let me clear this out which I'll walk you through. So here we're, again, using Docker Compose exec for our InfluxDB3 service. We are calling InfluxDB3 CLI, and we can run SQL queries. So SQL is our standard language, and we provided the argument show tables, and then we pass in another argument database with the name of our database, 
token is your token string. So here we need to provide the token string and the way instead of like this, because it's an environment variable, I can copy this environment variable. I should be able to do that. And that is not working. So instead, what I can do in the CLI, I will directly copy and paste the token. So here, I will update this. By the time you see this GitHub report, this will be updated. This instruction here, your actually it does say replace. So I'm just going to make it replace with your token string. So make sure to replace that with your actual token string like this. And now it runs the command. All it did was executed show tables. And we can see various tables that are inside our database. The important tables are these four that were created by Telegraph. IOX are the schema for the user created tables. So we're using Telegraph to automatically write data into these tables for the metrics from the local machine. The system and information schema are metadata and created behind the scene by the uh, database itself. You can look through them. So you can view them, but the ones that are really users as a user you're operating on uh, would be your own. That would be for the schema, just an FYI. So with that, now data is being written to InfluxDB. That's great. It created the tables. Now to query the data, we can query using the CLI. But since we have set up Grafana, let's set up a simple dashboard to see that in Grafana. So final step is to set up and view Grafana dashboard. Let's follow these steps. So we're going to go to localhost port 3000. That is where by default, local instance of Grafana runs. And I'm just going to use the default admin, admin, username, password. And now once you're in Grafana, you want to go to, I'm going to make this bigger, easier to see, data sources. I already have one, but I'll create it again. And you want to create a new data source, InfluxDB. Let's, I'll give it a name, V3. The languages InfluxDB V3 supports are InfluxQL, so we can keep this one, or SQL. I recommend SQL, that's the default language. Flux is not going to work. So we chose SQL. Now, if we go back here, we have done this. Since we are running in FlexDB3 core, this is going to be our URL. If you were running in FlexDB3 enterprise, make sure the correct URL, this is the name of the service. So it's actually running on local host port 8181, but because we are running it via Docker container, this is the URL address we need to provide. So we provide that. And then, then we need to provide the token and the token will be our token that we have stored in the env file so if you go there you copy the token string and then we need one more thing after that we also need to provide the name of the database and that is again in the env file which is our bucket name and toggle this to insecure connection because we're running locally so that's fine and an always good idea to test it, save and test. It uh, looks like it can talk to InfluxDB, which is great. Now we're going to go and create our dashboard. We go to create our dashboard. I already have one, but let's recreate new dashboard. Add visualization. Here we're going to check our source, InfluxDB v3. And here we are. We can create the panels by manually, but there's a faster way because we know the SQL query we want to run. We can use the default UI, and we are going to paste in the SQL query. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be grabbing CPU, usage, user, and time columns from the CPU table and where the time have these values, the Grafana variables. So let's run this query. And now we can see the information uh, right here. This is the information. This is basically the CPU metrics that are being collected by Telegraph from my local MacBook and being stored in InfluxDB3. And now everything is being visualized in Grafana. And I can you know, refresh this, I can save this dashboard, et cetera, et cetera. So you can give it whatever name, save it. And now you have TIG stack up and running. You can change these queries. You can make this you know, panel more fancy, use different visualization, change these variables, you know, do all kind of customization. But this is the basic that now we have up and running. Final step is if you want to stop any service, you can stop them. Or if you want to stop all three of them, you just run docker-compose down. So we're done. Let's save with our project and I can run it here or we can run it in my VS Code terminal window right here. And here we can see uh, all the uh, services that we're running that have been shut down. So that's great. And there's one more command. If you want to delete the actual data as well from the local services, you can do that as well. So this, I'll leave it up to you. So with that, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment 
or you can open an issue in this GitHub repo, or you can just come to our forum Slack and ask us questions. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you very much.